Do your dress shirts look like this? I'm gonna show you how you can tailor them. I don't like long intros though, let's do this. Put your shirt on and take some safety pins and put them in the sides where you want that new side seam to be. And make sure the safety pins are even, meaning that they line up with each other correspondingly. All you gotta do is pinch the sides where you feel comfortable with that shirt, put a safety pin in. Oh, and don't forget about the sleeves either. I think you should subscribe. Do the flex test to make sure that you didn't pin up those sleeves too tightly, restricting your motion. You also wanna make sure that you're not restricting any motion in the sides or the back of your shirt too, that's important. Take your shirt off, get on the inside where those safety pins are, and grab a fabric marker or tailor's chalk or even sidewalk chalk if that's all you got, and mark where those safety pins are. Don't forget about the sleeves either, mark those too. This shirt has ridiculously low armholes. I think it looks stupid. I like high armholes in my dress shirt, so I'm gonna move this up by about an inch or so, kinda mark that spot right there. Take those safety pins out and then draw a continuous line connecting all of those points on your garment. Hello. Make sure that line is nice and visible. Does it look like mine? Good. Put some sewing pins in the side of your garment to make sure that nothing rolls around or shifts on you. But if you don't have any, it's okay, it's optional. And obviously do the same thing with the other side of your dress shirt too. We're gonna taper this stitch out very gradually towards the cuff so it doesn't get any dimpling. Use these settings and start off with the back stitch and treat it like it's kindergarten pretty much and just kinda, kinda follow along that line right there. That's all you gotta do. Don't sew over your sewing pins though, it's kinda dangerous. Just take your time and take them out as you go along. Once you get to the armpit, make sure that that seam that you see running horizontally matches up with its bottom counterpart so that it's even and not lopsided or janky looking. Keep continuing on all the way down towards the sleeve and remember, taper it out very gradually and slowly. If it's not perfect, meaning it stops a little bit before your cuff, that's okay, it's not the end of the world. This is our new, much more flattering side seam from the bottom all the way up to the top. And these are pinking shears. We're gonna use these to cut off all the extra fabric on there. If you don't have pinking shears, just ask your grandma. She's probably got some. Leave about 5 eighths of an inch or 1.78 centimeters on the end. This shirt looks so much better. Now let's go learn how to put some darts in the back of a dress shirt. It's in that video right there. I'll see you over there. SD out, see ya.